Hello, writers. Here she is. It's Sunny and I. And today we want to help you with session three of our fairy tale writing. I'm going to share my screen and I hope you're ready with your binder, your pencil, and your great ideas for your adaptation. All right, I'm going to share my screen with you. Here we go. All right. Let's go ahead. Ready? I hope I was sharing it with you. All right, here we go. Okay. Today, writers, I'm going to be sharing storytelling, planning, drafting and adaptations of fairy tales. So today I want to remind you that the real goal when you rehearse a story is not to come up with something to say, but to make the story you write much stronger. If you storytell, your rehearsal brings your stories to life. So how do we begin? <clears throat> so we've already chosen our classic story, either Three Billy Goats Gruff or Little Red Riding Hood, and we've decided what we're going to make and change to improve our story, whether it's changing the characters or just changing the setting or just changing the problem or maybe even changing the solution. Remember, we want to start with just one change, and today here's our job. We want to make the change lead to other changes so that the whole story kind of fits together. All right. Let's use storytelling as a way to rehearse the first scene in our class, Cinderella Adaptation. And while doing that, I think I can give you some tips that will help you do the same work with your own fairy tale adaptation. Before we can storytell, we probably want to think about the start of the classic story. Then we need to get clear about the facts of our adaptation, right? We're going to use that same blank booklet we use to storytell and plan our entire story, but this time we're going to use it a little bit differently. We're going to use those four panels to tell just the beginning of our story. So remember that story arc that we used way back when we talked about because of Winn-Dixie? Here in Fairy Tales, we want to get introduced to those characters and the problem today. That's where we want to focus on because remember in a fairy tale, the action starts really early. So here's the beginning. One sunny afternoon, Cinderella was folding the gowns of her stepsisters. She had a whole mountain of more laundry to fold when all of a sudden the doorbell rang. Bing! Now, I think we're off to a good start, but here's the thing. Where are we gonna go from here? I have to think about what are the characters going to say? We know they're Cinderella. We know they're the stepsisters. What are they going to say? And here's the thing. How will they show their character traits? What are they going to do to show that they're mean or that they're kind? Let's get back to the story. You lazy girl, the mean stepsister said to Cinderella. Go get the mail. Hurry. Don't waste time. Cinderella went to the door. So do you see that? Now we see what the character says. Now, not Cinderella, but we see the stepsister and we definitely see showing. She's definitely showing that she's mean by what she said. So remember. Right away, introduce your character. Right away, get into that dialogue to show the character trait. The doorbell rang. Hmm. Let's go on. When she opened it, no one was there. She looked left, right, and then down. There on the doorstep was a letter. Well, said the stepsister, who's there and what do they want? 
Cinderella picked up the letter and handed it to her stepsister. It's an invitation from the town's mayor. It says, save the library on the envelope. Hmm. So we continue with the dialogue. We have kind of a mystery here, don't we? Sometimes that happens in the fairy tale. But now I have more questions. What sorts of looks are the me is the are the mean stepsisters giving Cinderella? And what does Cinderella look like? What does she do? What is she going to think about? Are you ready to get on with the story? Save the library? Wow, that's really different from the original version. Her stepsister looked at Cinderella and smirked. I don't know what you're getting excited about. You're not going anywhere dressed in rags and dirt. And besides, cares about a library. She ripped the invitation in two and threw it in the trash. A library? How ridiculous. Cinderella returned to folding her mountain of laundry. It's not ridiculous, Cinderella thought, taking a deep breath. Cinderella said, may I go? Whoa. Now, here's what you're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to try this with your own story. Think about the beginning of your classic story. Remember, think about, make sure you know your fact, keep your facts straight and what's going to happen in the beginning of your scene, your first small moment of the story. Who is doing what exactly? Remember, we had Cinderella doing something and then someone said something and then something happens. So for us, it was the stepsister getting mad at Cinderella and then the doorbell. So right now, I want you to think about who is doing what and saying what in your opening scene and your first small moment. Be specific. We have to decide exactly what kind of work Cinderella was doing. You'll need to make decisions like that too. Now think about that for a second. All right. Okay. I have some reminders for you. Here we go. Think about the classic fairy tale beginning. Who is doing what exactly? What are your characters saying? Is something happening to him or her? Remember, be specific. Think about a great opening line. So your tale probably could begin with one day or one early morning. Think of your way to begin and think of the words you say when you're storytelling. Think about it right now in your mind. Okay, I want to share quickly with you one third great friend of mine. And I want to share with you his story and the beginning of his. This is Sam and this is his first draft. Can you tell which classic story he changed? Yeah, the three Billy Goats grow up, but I see a parrot. What's up with that? Let's read and find out. One sunny Wednesday, one sunny Wednesday, Gruff the parrot was resting when the zoo guard walked by. He was a bad person because he was smoky. He twirled his keys. Gruff did not like the zoo, but he really hated the zookeeper. Gruff was pacing up and down his cage. Also, he was making a bunch of weird noises and said to himself, I've got to get out of here. I wish I could fly free in the air. He was about to cry, but then he came up with a plan. Character, bad guy, problem. Mm, we don't have a solution or a plan yet, but I bet Sam is off to a good start and I know you will be as well. So writers, off you go. Teachers, Here's a slide that you might want to keep up so that everyone can use it as a resource. Well, friends, I know these fairy tales are going to be fantastic. So 
I'm going to say goodbye. I want you to grab your most creative thinking and get ready to write like a pro. See you later.